Let's talk about some other good hip and core stability exercises um, where we're going to incorporate some abdominal strength, but also utilize some of our, our good hip muscles that sometimes are overlooked as we're doing whatever activities we like to do. So the first one that I want to do is, is an adductor side plank. So we're going to start doing this kind of the simple way because this one is always challenging for people. So I want to start with my lower knee bent, my top knee straight. We're going to come up into a plank. We're using that lower leg as you feel comfortable. We can raise that knee off the ground and that puts a lot more strain there through our groin area. And we're also using our, our lower abdominals here. As you get better with this, we can even add uh, a chair or a low step. And essentially we're working the same thing. Can we come up into a side plank and then raise that lower leg? Again, you should be shooting to hold this for 20 to 30 seconds or so. So this is a great way to kind of work that inner thigh muscle and some core muscles as well. We can also kind of flip this a little bit and get some glute strength. So one of the other exercises that we like to do is a leg lock bridge. We'll start this one by being on our back. We're going to lock the up knee with our arms. And then all we're going to try to do here is to really squeeze those glute muscles and drive up through that heel that's on the ground. And so we're just going to repeat this. You can hold and pause at the top there. Ideally, your hips are nice and level as we come up here. And again, we're just working some of that posterior chain strength. So that's another great one to work on. So the last one that we can do, and we're already in a great position here, is we can work on a, we call it a dead bug. So this is a slight modification where we're going to use our opposite arm to give some pressure to that up leg. We're gonna, again, come up all limbs off the ground, one arm straight up. We're gonna squeeze those glutes to make sure we can keep some pressure there on our low back. And then as we give pressure here, we're going to raise our arm and straighten our leg. We're just going to return to that position. Again, kind of working those hip flexors and those core muscles and trying to stay nice and strong through that core. So hopefully these variations will be helpful with your daily routine. Again, I like to do these on both sides for a couple sets of 10 to 15, depending on what's challenging for you. Give these a try and see if they make a difference in your running and throughout your daily life and see if we can just get that core stronger and you moving better.